Shazzy, and I'm your host for Unreal Futures in Animation. I'm going to walk you through the workflow that Real Effects used for Supergiant Robot Brothers. But first, a little bit about myself. Growing up, I loved cartoons, I loved drawing characters and telling stories, and I knew I wanted to work in animation when I grew up. So I decided to study computer science. I didn't know how, but I knew computers were used to make animation and I would figure it out. And my journey ended up leading me to Unreal, where I am now the Unreal Engine Supervisor at Wild Brain Studios. And in my free time, I've created my own mini series called Mitzi Makes It, all inside of Unreal. So today I'm gonna to take you through how to make your own animation in Unreal. I'm gonna give you two of my characters and hopefully you learn something and have a ton of fun with it. Before we start this next section, if you've been following along with the Unreal Learning Kit, you might have noticed that they're in 4.27. We are using Unreal 5 for this tutorial, so things might look slightly different, but everything is still in the same place. Let's talk about animation and what animation is. Animation is bringing characters to life and telling stories. So that's what we're gonna do today. We have two characters, Bit and Bot. So let's go meet Bit and Bot and see how we can bring them to life. If you have the Epic Games Launcher open, we're gonna go ahead and download Unreal 5. So go ahead and click on the library tab and next to engine versions, there's gonna be a plus sign. If you click on this plus sign, it will by default install the latest version of Unreal. So you should see Unreal 5 pop up when you click that, and then it'll give you the option to install it and where you want to install it. Unreal 5 can take a little bit to download, so please be patient, let it finish downloading, and then you can get started on the lessons. Unreal 5 may take up a lot of space to download, so make sure you have plenty of space on your computer for it to install. To get started, we are going to download the project from the Epic Games Launcher. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Marketplace and you are going to search for Unreal Futures in Animation. And when you do that, you should see the project here and you can go ahead and click Add to Cart and that should add it to your little cart icon here. And if you click on your shopping cart and go to checkout, it's a free project. It should get added to your library right away. So let's go to library and you should see the project here. And go ahead and click create project and pick where you would like to save that and then hit create. So I have Unreal open here. And if you don't see this level, go ahead and go to the content folder, double click on maps, and we're gonna open up map example one. And this is gonna be our test map to start with. A map is just like a level or a set. This is where our action is gonna take place. It's just somewhere where we can work and bring the characters to life. And you'll see in the later examples, um, some of our maps have a little bit more going on. They have some trees and some benches, and it's just like an environment that we can work in. As you're working, if things are feeling a little bit slow, in the bottom right corner, you might notice something that says shaders are compiling or shaders are recompiling. That's just Unreal kind of doing some extra processing in the background when the project is first opened. Just give that a moment and be patient and it should finish up and things should be a lot faster for you. So I'm gonna go back to the content folder and click on assets character and here you can see there's a bit and a bot folder and if we go into bit and we go into the mesh folder and we're going to double click on sk bit so these three here represent our character and they work together um, as kind of one unit so you're going to double click on sk bit the one that has the pink underline and you can see here's our character and animated characters are just like us in the sense that they actually have a skeleton. So if we click on character, bones, all hierarchy, we can actually see bit skeleton here. So on this left side, you can see all of the different bones that the character has and you can go ahead and click on them and you can kind of rotate them around to see what it's controlling. So for example, this one is controlling her hand. 
Now, if you want to turn the skeleton back off, you can go to character, bones, and do none again. So the bones explain how our body moves. Um, so the skeleton is made up of bones and joints. We have joints just like in our elbows and our fingers. So do animated characters. Now, for the face, it's a little bit different. For this character, we use something called blend shapes, where essentially just different shapes that the face can make. So over here, you can see there's a whole list of different blend shapes, and these might be super familiar to you. They're more or less things that our own face can make. So we can blink, we can smile, jaw open, all those different fun shapes. So if you start going through here and you drag this slider, you can actually see what each of these shapes do. And they're called blend shapes because we can blend a bunch of them together to get different facial expressions. So you can drag this back and forth. And then if you wanna just reset it, just hit the toggle next to it and it'll go back. So you can go through, you can see there's controls for the eyebrows, opening the eyes, jaw open, smile left and right and then again if you want to reset those just go and hit all those toggles so you can go through and play with the different sliders to get familiar with all the different shapes that bit's face can make i did mention there's two characters bit and bot have the same skeleton and the same blend shape so once you get familiar with one of the characters you'll know both of them right away so this is our character here and what we're going to do next is actually we're going to go check out an animation library. So we're going to take that skeleton and move all the different bones, make different poses, and have different facial expression, and really bring these characters to life using their skeleton. So I'm going to close this window, and we're going to go back to content, and we're going to double click on animation library. And again, Bit and Bot both have a little library of animations. So if we click on Bit, you can see all of the ones here. If we go back to animation library and double click on bot, you can see all of bot's animations here. So I'm gonna go back to animation library and I'm gonna go into bit and you can double click on any of these. So I'm gonna double click on bit dancing and this will open up the animation window where you can actually see the character with some animation. This animation library is hand animated. And a lot of what Supergiant Robot Brothers did was motion capture. If you're not familiar with motion capture, that's when someone, a real person, wears a suit and anything that they do with their body actually applies to the character, which is super fun to bring characters to life since you're kind of just like a puppet bringing this animated character to life. So there's lots of ways to do animation. In this project specifically, we're gonna be looking at some hand animated stuff, but at the end of the day, once it comes into Unreal, it's all these little animation clips that you can combine to tell your stories. So here we have Bit dancing. And again, if you wanna look at the skeleton, if you go to character, bones, all hierarchy, you can see the skeleton and how it got posed and how it's moving. And down below here, if you hit pause, then you can kind of see and understand, okay, they rotated the hand, the elbows are in, all the different kind of things that they did to hit that pose. So I'm gonna close this window and you can double click and kind of go through all of these. Um, again, if you wanna get rid of the bones, go to character, bones, none. And there's a ton in here, you can explore them. You'll notice some of them say start and some of them say loop. So for example, let's look at bit angry start. The ones that say start is kind of an initial reaction to get into that piece of animation. So you can see it's a very short clip, it's very fast. I'm gonna pause it and let's just scrub through this. So you can see she starts kind of normal and then she goes through the pose and then kind of holds it there. So that's kind of the start reaction. Then the ones that say loop are just a pose repeating over and over and over. So usually, and I'll show you once we get into the different sections, you'll combine the start and the loop and that'll kind of be like your initial reaction and then maybe the character's kind of holding that pose over and over. So if you see them saying start and loop, that is the difference between the two. You can usually combine them to have that kind of initial start reaction, and then the character goes kind of into the looping idle pose. So let's actually start dragging some of these 
animations into our level here. So what you can do is just click on one and drag it out and you can, so you can see that bit is not moving. And what we're gonna do in this details section here on the right side, you're gonna search for update animation and there's gonna be a setting called update animation and editor. And we're gonna to toggle that on and now you can see she's dancing. So I'm gonna clear this out and what you can do is kind of just drag these out here and you can kind of see how they all work together. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you set that toggle every single time for each version. And let's actually go to bot and see some of the animations that bot has. I'm gonna go back to animation library, double click on the bot folder, and let's pull some out. Let's do a jump. Again, I'm gonna turn this toggle on. And let's see what this one is sitting, standing, and it's really fun because you can kind of start putting them together, um, seeing how the different animations work. You can put the same animations on both of them. So I think this one's like a skip. What is this one? Skip. Okay, let's find skip for bot, and maybe they're skipping together. In this section, we met our two characters, Bit and Bot, and we learned that they have skeletons to animate their body, and they have blend shapes to bring their face alive, and we explored the little animation library that's in this project. So why don't you open up this map example one and drag out some of the animations in Bit and Bot's animation folder and explore them, get familiar, uh, figure out which ones are your favorite, think about which ones you maybe want to change because in the next section, I'm going to show you how you can customize these animations and make them your own.